If you cannot resist few morsels, if you cannot resist a glass of juice, you cannot have a healthy life and you cannot succeed in the future in the battle of business and the battle of life and your battle with the shaitan and your journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made fasting obligatory upon us so that we abstain from food from the morning, from Al-Fajr al-Sadiq, the true Fajr, until Al-Maghrib, the sunset. We don't eat, we don't drink. You cannot eat, you cannot drink, and you have to resist. And even when you have to break your fast at the Maghrib, you have to rush. It is a sunnah to rush to break your fast. The Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa says in the sound hadith, لا تزال أمتي بخير ما عجلوا الفطر وأخروا السحور. My ummah would still be in a good state as long as my ummah hastens to break their fast and eat sahur the latest in the morning. As I said, the purpose is not to suffer. You have to fast, whether the day is long or short. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to break our fast. So we break our fasts. As long as it says Allahu Akbar and the time is due, we break our fasts. There is no more thawab in extending your fasting few minutes later. You break your fast first with a meal, with a light meal or the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam with fresh dates, rutab or any ordinary dates or water. And we will see the wisdom inshallah of that. So dear brothers and sisters, if we talk on the spiritual level, of course, there is every benefit in fasting. But many of us probably have not reached that spiritual level through which we can understand how fasting improves our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and brings us closer to Him. So we need to understand how fasting improves our health and how it reflects upon our daily life, how it protects us from illnesses and diseases. And therefore, we need to see how Islam looks at eating, drinking, and the manners of eating and drinking. Because the whole month of Ramadan has become for Muslims now an occasion to eat more and drink more. Unfortunately, it's not wrong that you celebrate the ibadah and show that you are happy with it. But the goal of the month of Ramadan is to abstain from food, is not to eat a lot of food, not to eat more than what you eat before Ramadan. And the bulk of Muslims now, they miss two meals or one meal, so they eat at iftar meal, they eat a double meal, more than what they usually eat because they want to compensate for what they missed. And unfortunately, many Muslims are bound by a meal. Believe me, many of the marital conflicts take place because the husband comes home and the food is not ready, the meal is not ready, and then the quarrel starts, his wife was busy or was, was outside, so the conflict starts with a meal and people have no patience to wait for one meal. So at iftar time, they want to compensate for all the meals and the food they missed during the day. This is not the goal of fasting. The goal of fasting is to get during Ramadan less food, lesser than what you usually get during around the year. You have 11 months to eat, but during this month, you need to understand that you can do with little. Believe me, you can do with a lot less than what we usually eat. And there is a common joke, anecdote, Actually, I read this in America here. It says, in order to survive, we only need a quarter of what we usually eat. And you know what? why we eat the other three quarters? They say here in America that we eat the other three quarters in order for the doctors to live. Actually, we need a quarter of what we usually eat. But of course, if you get to cut down 
the amount of morsels or food you usually eat, you're going to get sick and hungry. What is the way to train? Follow the sunnah of the Prophet Follow the sunnah of the Prophet Islam presents us with the best diet. The best diet has been presented by Islam during the month of Ramadan. If the people of this country discover what fasting means, not on a spiritual level, but on a physiological level, and how much it benefits our health and how much it improves our be well-being, then they would all fast. And this is one good channel and one of the best channels to get people into Islam. Because people in this country spend $40 billion, believe it or not, $40 billion in America are spent every year on diet and diet related products. The same amount, the same sum that is spent on education. $40 billion on diet, it is the best business and one of the best businesses. And in Islam, you don't want more than fasting. But fasting the proper way, fasting the perfect way,